This is a defense for wrestling. It is sport, it is entertainment, it is athleticism in its purest form. It is pure fucking drama. <laughs> it's theatrical thrashing. It's death-defying action and acrobatics, nail-biting suspense featuring imaginative characters with infinite charisma, machines with mucho machismo, women warriors with will and wit. They are performers with personality, performing choreographed chaos, painting a light blue 20 by 20 canvas with their blood, sweat, and tears. And it's immediately judged by spectators who truly appreciate the spectacle. Other sports may require the same passion that the athletes possess, but nowhere else in the world can you witness the pure, natural theatrics and excitement that is professional wrestling. 300 plus days a year, these men and women perform, breaking their bodies, exposing their soul, showing mixed emotions, all for the sake of entertaining die-hard and casual fans, young and old alike. Children, like my friends and I once were, loved to emulate what we'd see on weekly and monthly wrestling events on TV and in pay-per-view before there was online streaming. We used to imitate the greats like my favorite, Bret the Hitman Hart, the Nature Boy, Ric Flair, woo! Ultimate Warrior, Macho Man, Randy Savage, oh yeah, dig it! And of course, our homeboy from San Antonio, Texas, the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels. Their risk was our reward, and I will never take it for granted, because it's what got me through some tough times when I was a little fat kid going through the hell that was elementary school. We felt the same glory and bravery that they exhibited, especially when we'd pretend to be them and jump off brick walls onto the trampolines, pile drive each other into cardboard, and give each other sharpshooters. But of course, there's the haters. Chinga madre, pinche huercos cabrones. Si quebran algo, los van a ir muy mal. Y a ver cómo lo hacen, porque yo no te voy a llevar al hospital. And the judgments I've heard from all the short-sighted and close-minded include, oh, you're so gay, dude. You just like watching big sweaty dudes in their underwear touch each other. And of course, my pseudo-psychiatric smart-ass response would be, so is that how you see it? Big sweaty dudes? Because I see athletes in tights and cool costumes. And what about MMA? Those guys are just hooking up with each other on the ground most of the time. And how can you forget about the divas? Sable, Stacey Keebler, Sasha Banks, all beautiful, sexy, powerful women who are smart and tough, who love to show the world how strong women can be, both attractive and interesting. Oh, it's all fake anyway. Well, it's still real to me, damn it. And fake? How? Fake like the movies and TV shows you watch? Fake like the theater? It's as real as you let your imagination allows it to be. If all you see is the fakeness, then you truly let your imagination down, and perhaps you should no longer be allowed to live. <laughs> so suspend your disbelief. Suspend your disbelief, not your imagination.